what's up y'all welcome to epiphany tarot i'm here to do a reading this is gonna be for virgo so tap in please like share subscribe comment all that good shit um virgo i'm gonna show you the cards that i got uh first card i got out is the ten of swords in the reverse um page of pentacles in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse and then bottom of the deck is the star in the reverse. Um, Virgo, first of all, so somebody out here could be in an abusive relationship. Um, the Ten of Swords can speak to domestic violence. Um, but the Ten of Swords in the reverse also speaks to somebody like recovering from some sort of near-death experience. So it could have been a domestic violence uh, situation that got out of control, trigger warning. Or this could just be, you know, something that happened to somebody. Somebody could be recovering from a near-death experience or um, some type of surgery. Because with these knives out here, it's like somebody got really close to death. Um not to be morbid or anything but yeah those knives are giving me like surgery or somebody could have got stabbed or something here i feel like somebody's recovering from um some sort of near death or outer body experience um it could have happened in the past this could have happened to you in the past with somebody um virgo um but i feel like somebody out here is in a relationship the love is reversed like somebody's out here in a relationship but it's not the healthiest relationship is definitely one-sided is definitely karmic is definitely um somebody's codependent like it's just an unhealthy relationship with the lovers in the reverse um the stars in the reverse as well we got gemini energy out here aquarius energy out here um, but the ten of swords can speak to either you're recovering from some sort of like devastating breakup or betrayal um, that happened in the past it's like you're really pulling yourself together after something like really like did a number on you basically um you know or this could be the ten of swords in the reverse could either be you pulling yourself together after something devastating or it could be you not accepting the way that something has ended you know what i'm saying it could go either way with the ten of swords in the reverse so for some of you with this page of pentacles in the reverse because that is your energy somebody out here can't accept the way that something ended with the ten of swords in reverse others of you are pulling yourself together you're just like you know what you know i'm gonna just get it together move on with my life so you pick a side where you're at because i'm getting both with that page of pentacles reverse that's your energy virgo earth energy some of you can't get over something others of you you're fucked up but you're pulling yourself together basically um but like i said you could have already healed from this the ten of swords in the reverse is showing up in a past position so this betrayal either already happened or this experience already happened um and you've been pulling yourself together for a minute now or some of you just can't get over it like real shit and i feel like if it is somebody out here who can't get over some type of betrayal or it's like they just can't accept something they can't accept being abused. They can't accept what somebody did to them. Like, if it's, if it's somebody out here who's doing that, uh, I feel like this person could be in another relationship where they're laid up with somebody, sleeping with somebody, but they're definitely cheating. The lovers in reverse and the page of pentacles reverse. Page of pentacles reverse is somebody who doesn't take shit seriously. I mean, they think life is a game. They think life is a joke with the page of pentacles in the reverse. That, this is somebody who's stuck in their south node. They're very immature, very lazy. They're an underachiever. This page of Pentacles reverse. This could be somebody who like was a like a school dropout. Like they dropped out of school. This could be be somebody who has a GED or something. But this is somebody who definitely plays games. Definitely disloyalty. They don't take shit seriously. They don't take the relationship seriously. 
um this could be a earth sign person playing with a gemini or an aquarius like i don't know somebody out here is definitely cheating though with the lovers in the reverse it's like somebody's like laid up with somebody in a karmic soul tie relationship where they're having sex but outside of that this motherfucker is playing games page of pentacles just reverse period some of you could be at a job where they're pushing you to your limits it's just like you're getting pushed to the edge at this job at this workplace you may have to ask yourself if it's even worth it to keep working there um but somebody out here is definitely they're just silly like page of pentacles reverse is like silly somebody out here is too old for this type of behavior they're very childish very negative um play too many games don't take life seriously they could be in and out of jobs page of pentacles versus somebody who's very wasteful with their money too so this is somebody who's broke somebody who lives an unhealthy lifestyle so they could drink drug uh, this could be another earth sign maybe this is another virgo or a taurus or a capricorn but somebody they play games they cheat they lie i mean for some of you virgo maybe this is one of your kids or something with the page of pentacles they're in a relationship and you know they do their spouse dirty i don't know like <laughs> you take this shit as it resonates with the page of pentacles in the reverse it's like somebody is like so childish man they're an underachiever they're a loser and they know it they're a loser they know it they dropped out of school. This is somebody who's uneducated. They lack common sense. Like, this is somebody who just does shit, and it makes absolutely no sense. It's like they're just doing shit, just playing around because they're bored, because they don't have nothing else going on, so they have to create drama. They have to create problems, or they stir up shit just for entertainment. Like, somebody is stupid as fuck. Yeah, but they live an unhealthy lifestyle, whoever this is. They could be sickly, too. So this is a person that don't need to be doing that. I don't know why I'm hearing Ozempic. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody could be on Ozempic. I don't know. Um, yeah, somebody could be sickly out here. I'm hearing, like, sickle cell, diabetes, um something could be going on with somebody's eyes like in the page of pentacles versus also somebody who's obsessed with divination and tarot it's like somebody wants to learn tarot they're interested it's like they want to know how to read cards and shit but they don't have the patience for it they think it's a game page of pentacles reverse and it's like they could even be like tapping into like dark magic and shit trying to see what's up with that i would not advise somebody to do that like this is somebody who plays too much though they don't take no they don't take nothing serious so if somebody's like playing in magic or playing in divination or they even try to study something but they know it's not of the most high that shit is gonna fuck you up period but um and this could be somebody who's in a relationship like they're laid up sleeping with somebody calling themselves being in a relationship or they're supposed to be in a relationship but like people know that they people know that they're connected to somebody it's like this is somebody who people know that they have a girlfriend they have a boyfriend they have a wife or something but it's just like this person literally like does what the fuck they want to do it's like they act like a kid so who, whoever is in this relationship with them it's like this ain't even a relationship this is like you have another kid if if y'all had already have children together like the lovers reverse say this couple has like kids together they could have a kid two kids three kids this page of pentacles reverse is like the fourth kid like you got a grown person who's a child you don't have a man you don't have a woman you have a dependent a child somebody who needs to be watched 24 7 before they go do something stupid like this is not a fucking relationship like this is a mess but like I said, if this person, you could have already moved on from this person, some sort of betrayal with the Ten of Swords here. You pulled yourself together after this person did you dirty. Or this could be you that's in this lover's reverse relationship. Can't and you can't get over how something ended. So now somebody's resorting to like divination, tarot, magic. Somebody out here is practicing dark work, but you know what I'm saying? It could be somebody that's in this relationship. Like I'm telling you now, Virgo, like I don't know. If it's you in this lover's reverse connection where somebody is just like not playing, they not taking it serious at all. They don't care. They don't care about themselves. They don't care about nothing. But 
it's either they're in a relationship with somebody who's practicing dark magic and getting readings done on you. Or they're with somebody that's doing this to them. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, mm -mm, something's in a, is a mess out here. But yeah, somebody's star reverse. Somebody's just hopeless. It's like they're lacking faith. They're stuck in their south node. Like, they don't... They don't know how to turn their life around. Oh, well, shoot. What's, what's the message you for Virgo? It's somebody very lazy, come with a lot of problems, a very much a cheater. The Page of Pentacles is definitely disloyal. Yeah, it says 411. It says takes partner's busy schedule and inability to text or call often as a slight as it proceeds. It says takes partner's busy schedule and inability to text or call often as a slight and perceives it as a sign of partner isn't doing enough to reach out. It says 911 reaches out excessively, reaches out excessively and will call or text often if they do not hear back from a partner accuses partner of wrongdoing suspicious and controlling yeah so somebody out here is like very controlling always accusing the other person of doing something like you must be cheating i know you out here doing this da 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 because you ain't answer my call like somebody's really clocking somebody it's like why you ain't answer my call why you ain't text me back what took you so long it's these motherfuckers in this relationship so who's ever whoever is in this karmic relationship with his lovers reversing shit, it's like they really clock another person. Why you ain't call me? Or if this person takes too long to call them back or tells them they're going to call them back and never do, they take that as a slight. They feel some type of way. It's just like, then why are you with the motherfucker? Just leave then. If you feel some type of way, you mad because a motherfucker ain't call you? If you leave that ass, you ain't got to worry about them contacting you or calling you. Yeah, somebody inability to text or call often perceives it as sign of partner isn't doing enough to reach out. Yeah, accuse his partner of wrongdoing. So this is also somebody who accuses somebody of doing shit and no proof. It's just like, if you just don't trust the motherfucker, then you don't need to be with him. Yeah, and this is somebody who keeps calling their phone, blowing them up, reaches out excessively. What you doing? Where you at? What time you coming back? It's just like, girl, who still does that in 2024? Like, girl, fuck all that. You could be doing something else with that time and energy. What's the message here? It's like this person is stuck in some type of karmic soul tie relationship where they're getting cheated on. It's one-sided. It's weird. Um, but they're, they're playing games with the person that they're laid up with, not calling them or whatever. They're too busy obsessively watching tarot on you or pulling cards on you. Like, somebody is a weirdo. <laughs> somebody is weird as fuck. Um, it's just dead inside settling apathetic and bored wanting different things not being oneself yeah this person they haven't done the work on themselves the pages is the very beginning of something the page of wands page of cups page of pentacles that's the very beginning of a journey like in the tarot like the page of pentacles then the knight of pentacles the king of pentacles then eventually you get to the emperor somebody's at the page and it's in reverse they're not learning they're not learning they don't know who they are they don't have no sense of self so they just out here doing stupid shit. Somebody's like dead inside. They're hollow. This person can have like the skeletal type of face type of look. It's like, cause that's a skeleton here. So somebody can have like, like a really pointy nose or they got really high cheekbones or their cheeks are like sunken in or somebody's like, I don't know. I told you Ozempic. I was hearing it. This could be somebody who lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight. I don't know. It says settling, but this person does live an unhealthy lifestyle, so they could be doing some type of drug, page of pentacles in the reverse. Like, this clarified the page of pentacles reverse. This dead on the inside card. So, yeah, somebody who is like, they're a, um, what do they call it? Like a walking bag of skin. <laughs> like, somebody's like soulless. <laughs> yeah, dead inside. 
settling. Yeah, they settle for something. They're in this relationship where they hate it. But it's just like they know they can't get nothing better or do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like it's too late for them because the page of principles reverses are underachievers. It's too late for them to go back to school. It's too late for them to go get educated or go marry or whatever the fuck they want to do. They feel like it's too late. So it's just like now they just, like, fuck it. And they doing whatever, I guess, until they die. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it says bored, wanting different things, not being oneself. Yeah, they don't want what they got. They don't want this love is reverse relationship. They don't want this person that they're sleeping with or fucking. They're just like, this shit is boring. And this could be a boring-ass person. <laughs> yeah, it's just dead end. Not making much progress. Moving forward. Rising conflicts and disagreements. Lack of trust. Honesty. Going nowhere. Yeah, this is somebody who knows they're, they're going nowhere. It's like their life is really all that it's going to be. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Yeah, it says trauma, drama. Yeah, so it's all kind of drama in this lover's reverse relationship. But like I said, this could be an ex of yours that really did you dirty or it was some type of domestic abuse involved, Virgo, or something. They did something in the Ten of Swords energy or shit. They could have got sick or sick or damn near died in the past or something. You helped them recover and then this bitch played you or something. I don't know. But it's something really devastating with the Ten of Swords that happened in the past. I feel like you escaped it you know it could have been something that turned fatal maybe it it had the potential to be a domestic violence relationship yeah i'm hearing sirens outside it's like you got away from this person in the nick of time before they like snapped or something yeah you hear them sirens Ooh wee virgo i don't know what the fuck this is okay um but yeah, trauma, drama. It says constant issues with getting life back on track. Jail, illegal activities, etc. I told you this is somebody who lives an unhealthy lifestyle. Whether it's the activities that they engage in or the drugs that they do. Like it's very unhealthy, whatever they do. Um, somebody with illegal problems, jail. They're always in and out of jail. This person's overland by overwhelmed by pressures or restrictions of life yeah this could be somebody on house arrest like i said somebody who dropped out of school house arrest they ran into trouble with the laws could be somebody who was in prison before yeah constant issues with getting their life back on track yeah they can't get their life together so they're just settling in some shit or settling for somebody that they're having sex with but they really don't want to be with but they feel like they don't have no other options so this, the Virgo, this is either somebody that you got the fuck away from, because the Ten of Swords reverse is like you escaping in the nick of time. Like you either got away from this person, because they had already betrayed you or did you dirty, or you're in this relationship with this motherfucker and you're the one playing games and shit with this Page of Pentacles reverse. I don't know. But it says, or you could have met this person, shit, and they're in a relationship. I don't know. It says traumatic events, loss of job, or traumatic life events such as illness or mental depression, putting a strain on a relationship. Yeah, so they're in a relationship with somebody who suffers from depression or has some type of mental health issue, or is them. This whoever this page of pentacles is, they're the one that's in a relationship. Yeah, you hear them sirens? That's crazy. Like somebody's like in a relationship with a mental health patient. Like somebody who's depressed, somebody who's been practicing and playing in dark magic, somebody who's like an underachiever, a dropout, they're dead inside, they have no sense of self, they can't get their life back on track, they've been in and out of prison, like they job lost or they keep losing jobs or it's like mental illness or mental depression, putting a strain on their relationship. That's why I said somebody's out here accusing people, a person accusing their partner of something that they're not even doing with no proof it's like what what are you talking about like i'm not cheating on you bitch like i ain't even went nowhere today what the fuck are you talking about like somebody here is very this would drive somebody insane like for real i'm not joking Virgo, this would drive somebody crazy being with somebody like this i don't know what this person's problem is it's like they haven't been right since this near-death experience or since this betrayal or since this um outer body experience but since they've been playing in something dark with the page of pentacles in the reverse this could be mirror magic like this person be acting like they talking to you in the mirror the whole time they're in another relationship with a bitch that they don't want where it's a lot of drama it's a lot of issues traumatic events towers happening and shit it's just like
That's the message for Virgo. It says self-pleasure, self-satisfying instantly doing things for you. Yeah, it says fanatic, obsessive, all in your face. Yeah, so this is somebody who looks really crazy. Like, like I said, I told you somebody's face looks sunken in or something. You see this person's eyes? I feel like this, this person's eyes can have some type of color to them. They could be kind of yellowish or brown spots in their eyes. That's a clear sign that there's something wrong with this person. Like, real shit. They're either sickly or, um, I, I don't know. Like I said, this could be your child. Page of Pentacles, if you're like an older Virgo, and this is like a kid of yours or something that you know is like in a relationship. Yeah, fanatic. Somebody's all in your face, self-satisfying, doing things for you. Yeah, they could be trying to do shit for you, Virgo, or whatever, or trying to be in your face. Like, this person's really a fan of yours. They're really fanned out over you. But it's like, it's something off about this person. This person could have really nice teeth, though. pseudo influencer fake accounts fake followers fake it till you make it yeah this could be who they're with they could be with they could for some of you they're with a white woman you know no offense just saying some of you they're with a caucasian female others of you they're just with somebody who's like a pseudo influencer a fake influencer somebody who wants clout or fame or status or you know what i'm saying they want to verify check a blue check on instagram like somebody like that yeah, fake followers, fake it till you make it. So, yeah. So, like, they could be in a relationship with a bitch who just tunes their ass out. It's like, I know you crazy. I know you ain't got the sense God gave you. But because we look good together and I'm trying to build my followers and people like to see us together, it's like, I will keep your crazy ass around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or she just, like, even if it's not on social media, it could just be to family, friends, and shit. This is a bitch who like to dress nice. You know what I'm saying? She's real uppity kind of bougie she could be into wearing red lipstick uh sunglasses i mean she do be looking good but it's just like bitch you're willing to put up with this crazy ass mental fucking patient of a person just so you can look like to your family friends or social media that you can keep a man bitch you are just as retarded as this motherfucker is i like, really shit, bitch is fake as fuck Like this is a mental patient and a pseudo influencer in a relationship that's who this lovers reverse is that's who this couple is this man is this page of pentacles reverse the masculine energy and the feminine energy is this pseudo influencer this bitch who likes to dress nice look good or whatever and she know this person is like crazy as fuck but she's still like well that's my man blah, 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 or whatever yeah divorce or she could be divorcing this person or she needs to get a divorce dissolution of marriage or she's trying to get a divorce behind the scenes or whatever or something here yeah these people could be getting a divorce or they need to get one but i feel like this bitch ain't trying to divorce this man until she gets what she wants or whoever this woman is she's not trying to break up or divorce this person until she gets what she wants from this person right like, Cause you know with somebody like this the page of pentacles in the reverse i told her she been babysitting this motherfucker like this ain't no real relationship you can't build nothing absolutely nothing with somebody with a page of pentacles in the reverse i don't know exactly what it is she want out of this situation Or it could just be the aesthetic. She just likes the way she looks with this person, even though this person is fucked up. Yeah, low vibrational. Putting material world above the connection to the divine. Yeah, so this is about money. 
the material world, how she looks with this person or how she looks like, oh, I can keep a man or we've been together for a long time. Like somebody in this skeleton energy just keeps popping out. Like somebody's literally dead on the inside or that's this person. They put materialism and shit over everything. It's just like, okay, good luck. But when you die, you can't take none of this shit with you. So that shit means nothing. Cars, houses, clothes, makeup, designer, none of that shit means shit. One more. Yeah, blood sucker. Hmm. Energy vampire de depriving you at your own expense. Yeah, so it's really a dark bitch out here. I'm telling you. But it's crazy because she's like pretty. So people wouldn't think that. I thought like the feminine energy, she's very pretty, very easy on the eyes. So you would never think like, you know, this bitch would be doing this type of shit. But she, she is. She's a blood sucker, an energy vampire, a pseudo influencer. The bitch is fake as fuck. Like real shit. Yeah, bottom of the deck is man's playing, condescending, patronizing explanations. Yeah. So this, and then this has the audacity to be somebody who thinks they're more superior than women. It's like, how are you? more superior than the feminine energy but you out here losing like a motherfucker and can't get your life back on track like bitch please make that make shit yeah right underneath the class clown like the fuck i said like last through their pain does not take it didn't i say that last through their pain does not take things seriously masking friends it says masking finds amusement in other suffering like i can't make this shit up somebody here is crazy they think they're better than women. They're a fucking class clown. They laugh at other people's pain. Other people's pain. They find it funny. They find it amusing. They're known to be violent or domestic abusive or whatever the fuck. They don't take shit seriously at all. They think this shit is a game. Very condescending and patronizing. And then look, bougie underneath that. I told you. It says fancy pants, high-end, superficial, materialistic, shallow, skin deep, and hard to please. So, yeah, they're with a bitch who's just with them because of whatever they come with. I don't know if this person is, like, this person just may be, like, attractive or they know how to do something that this bitch is benefiting from. But, like I said, it could just be the look of you know we're together this is my man it's my husband like we look good together like girl you need your ass whooped and so do he like these people are crazy man like who does this type of shit so, and, and if you're like cross watching and you've met a virgo that's in a relationship i would definitely like bypass this person because with the page of pentacles reverse they're gonna be playing games <laughs> like real shit they're not taking nobody seriously at all. So don't let this person trick you into thinking that you're going to get a commitment from them. You're not. If you're dating a Virgo and this is resonating, I would be careful, okay? Because this ain't going to resonate with everybody. But if it is resonating, bitch, you better run. Because <laughs> they're with some bougie, blood-sucking-ass bitch. The whole time, they're a loser, playing games, feeling like an underachiever, and just dead on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, you're not interested in this person. You're divine feminine watching, or you are divine feminine in this reading. Yeah, you could be in a relationship with somebody else, divine feminine. You could have already left this person behind or left them with this bitch that they're married to or playing games with. It's like there's a woman out here who knows that this person needs help. But it's just like, she, she feels like his ass is a lost cause. So it's just like, I'm going to just come up off of him or get clout or, you know, build my business up off this nigga before, you know, I make my exit or I go get my divorce. Like, some bitch is like, she feels like there's no hope for a motherfucker. They feel like it ain't no hope for me. They're starting to reverse. Somebody here is helpless, hopeless. They're in their south node. They lack in their faith. They may feel like their life is cursed with their ten of swords here. Because they're definitely broke. Page of Pentacles versus somebody who makes 
low wages whatever they do for a living they don't get paid the, the best or the most so it's just like the little money that they do get they just fuck it off <laughs> four of wands here yeah so some of you could be in a relationship like the four of wands it's like some like a major milestone um aries leo sag or you can have fire in your chart a lot of you have moved on from this person already you could be a homeowner or you moved on to another relationship got remarried got recommitted it's like you're elsewhere you didn't reach some sort of major milestone in your life after leaving this person behind in this ten of swords shit my bad y'all yeah three of wands and this person's being haunted by the past you left this person in the past this could have been some type of long distance relationship or you moved away from this person or this person moved away from you to be with this weird ass bitch that they're with now yeah three of wands reverse this person they're distracted you know delays they're they're frustrated with it with their decisions the way something has gone it's like they had a plan. Like the page of Pentacles, it's like they had a plan. I don't know if they were planning on making you jealous to get you to come back to them. That shit backfired. <laughs> that shit did not work. Now they're stuck over there with their plans not working out, not making any progress, can't move forward. They're frustrated. There's delays, stagnation. It's like they're upset with their decisions that they made. But oh well, that's your fault. And I feel like you moved on, you reached some type of major milestone, whether you're a homeowner now or you just have some sort of stability, whatever that may be. You know what I'm saying? You could be having some type of event at your house too, Virgo. I don't know if you're throwing like a whole Halloween party or something here. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're a homeowner, you're stable. It's like you have some sort of foundation in your life. This person does not. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Magician reverse. Told you they play games. Gemini Virgo energy. Somebody can't get their life together. They're too distracted. They don't know how to focus their energy. They could be hallucinating. I like I don't know what type of drugs this person on, but the magician reverse could be paranoia, hallucination. It's like this person could see shit or hear shit from playing in this divination, playing in this magic. Like somebody here and fuck themselves up and I don't know how. Like I don't know what's wrong with this person. Magician in reverse, they can't get their shit together. They don't have, they don't know how to manifest. All they do is trick people and play games. Like real shit. Magician in reverse, somebody here just plays too many fucking games. They're a shapeshifter. It's like they shape shift into whatever they think a person wants wants them to be. Only for people to get involved with their ass and then realize like, damn, you not really that motherfucker like I thought you were. This person is they're a liar, they're conniving. It's like you cannot trust this person. Like at all. Magician reverse in the three of wands reverse. You cannot trust this person. Like real shit. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is this bitch that they're with who's bitter. Yeah, because they're locked into this karmic contract with the devil. Yeah, there's a bitch who's been trying to work with this person or or could be air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. I feel like she could just be in this queen reverse energy where she's bitter, she's a liar, very jealous, messy, disrespectful at the mouth. So whoever this person is with, the bitch talks to their ass crazy and less than, like they ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, she's stuck with this toxic motherfucker and she's mad about it, bitter. With the devil here, could be a Capricorn for some of you. We got Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, shit, Taurus and Virgo out here. Yeah, they're locked into this karmic contract with the devil here. Somebody here didn't racked up too much karmic debt. They're stuck in a karmic contract. The love is reversed with the devil of right. They're stuck in a karmic contract with a bitch that they've been doing black magic with or they've been doing something they ain't got no business doing. Now the bitch is bitter and mad because she's a liar. <laughs> Queen of Swords in the reverse. Oh, well, bitch. Better get over it. Four of 
or she mad because she got tricked by this person. Magician reverse and the uh, Queen of Swords reverse. She fell for the okie doke. Somebody here is hella toxic. The Magician reverse with the devil. Ooh, we. Somebody is like not of the most high. They are not of the light. Somebody is really dark and they have some sort of addiction. I don't know what it is. The Magician reverse and the devil, they have some sort of addiction. Because the Page of Pentacles reverse is somebody who lives an unhealthy lifestyle. So they do some type of drug or something. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Coke or what. I have the four of wands here. Yeah, Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, you've already released yourself from this shit. I feel like you were once trapped and stuck because you got tricked by this person. But you freed yourself with the um, Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, four cups in the reverse. Yeah, it's just like you're recovering. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're experiencing happy moments in your life. You feel good about your life where you at and shit again. Like the four cups in the reverse. You're grateful for God bringing you. For you're grateful for the experience, but you're glad it's the fuck over. <laughs> shit. Yeah, seven of cups reverse. And somebody else is out here confused or playing dumb. What is the seven of cups here? Yeah, eight of wands in the reverse. Somebody's confused. They don't understand why shit has slowed down for them. But you've just been progressing in your life with that four of wands there. Or you still have some sort of stability or foundation. Yeah, somebody's like overwhelmed, overstimulated. Seven of cups and the eight of wands in the reverse. Because they jumped into something too quick and it's, it's backfiring. Yeah, five of wands. Somebody's like secretly competing with you. They're jealous. Very hateful. Vengeful. Jealous. Vindictive. Somebody likes to play mind games. The Magician Reverse and the Five of Swords. They like to play mind games. Or just games, period. And some of you, you could have blocked this person. This person's jealous. Like, mm, there's a Five of Swords here. Yeah, I just seen a Six of Pentacles and a Lover's try to come out. So this person could be jealous because you're in a new relationship. They're jealous because somebody wants to give to you or reciprocate or share or be fair with you. Like, somebody is like... Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, because they invested in the wrong shit. Or they want to abandon something that they invested in because they realize it doesn't meet their expectations. It's like they got into a relationship really fast with the Eight of Wands with some weird ass bitch. Only to realize like, damn, like this ain't, I'm not seeing no progress. Like, cause this person could be like really impatient. Very impatient. They play mind games and then they abandon shit when it don't meet their expectations. So, I mean, this could be somebody who thinks that there's some sort of catch. Like, I don't know. Why is the Seven of Wands? I mean, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Their money has definitely slowed down. Yeah, Ten of Wands reverse. You released them because this person came with too much problems. They're too much baggage. They're not worth the headache. Like all these mind games, these lies, these tricks and shit. Like, bitch, please. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, and they're a cheater. Not a Wands. This person just wants to run around or now they're trying to chase you. It's like they want to come in and see if they can still get your attention or they were doing this in the past, trying to see if they can get your attention, they can get you to sleep with them, fuck on them or something. It's like, bitch, you need to grow the fuck up. Like I said, this could be somebody who's mixed race. They look mixed race. They could be white, Hispanic, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Latina. Like, they look like they're mixed with something if they aren't. Somebody who's very easy on the eyes, not a wands, but they don't want to settle down. It's like... Yeah, and they don't give a fuck about shit. Nine of swords in the reverse. I feel like you don't give a fuck about this person. It's like, that's on you. Yeah, five of wands in the reverse. Fool card. Yeah, this person's just dumb and reckless. And if they keep up with this reckless shit, they're going to meet the ten of swords. So if I was them, whatever the fuck this is they're doing out here, I would stop. Okay?
Because sometimes you can't recover from the Ten of Swords. The Ten is an ending. Why, why is the Three of Wands in the reverse? This is somebody very condescending. Feel like they can outsmart everybody or they they know more than people and shit. Somebody here is just a dumb fuck. Like, really. Why is the Sagittarius energy, the temperance? You could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you're just chilling. It's Earth Angel energy. It's like you're chilling, you're relaxing. You've already alchemized this uh, energy that this person, this Five of Swords, not a wine shit. It's like you're not dealing with that. You're too high vibrational with the temperance here. You're protected, Archangel Michael. It's like you're too high vibrational. You've already made peace with this situation. You've leveled up. You're very peaceful. It's just like you're not finna deal with that. I'm the temperance here. You're not finna let this person disturb your peace. Like it yeah, um yeah, look at you, Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, or you can have fire in your chart, you can have Aries or Sagittarius here. Well, shit, this could be a Sagittarius female. I don't know. With the Temperance and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, but I feel like you're very powerful. It's like you you know your power. Or you took your power back from this person. You're the Queen of Wands. This person's the Knight of Wands. They're definitely not on your level. And I feel like you're side-eyeing this person. Because you're looking like, I know you don't fuck the thing. You finna bring your ass back over here, bitch. Like, I already warned your ass. I already clocked your ass upside your head with this wand once before, bitch. What don't you get? Like, this comes off as somebody who's, like, very hard-headed. <laughs> shit. The queen of Wands here. But I feel like you're very sexy, sexy. You're very sensual, confident. It's like you look good. You're ambitious. You're about your shit. Yeah, world card. You close this cycle out. So you're just like... That's a, that's on you. You want to be a mental patient and play mind games and run around and do all that dumb shit. That's your business. But you better not come over here because I feel like you closed this cycle out already. Or well, Queen of Wands did. She closed the cycle out on this person. Somebody who's in their power, confident, sexy, living their best life. Somebody who don't motherfucking play. It's just like, uh-uh. Yeah, Knight of Swords, yeah. It's like somebody keeps trying to get this person attention or get this person to talk to them or something just so they can ghost them and shit. Or it's like this cycle is closed out. This person keeps trying to message this person on social media. Like, because the, the world card is the world wide web, the internet. It's like the Knight of Swords rushing towards the world. It's like somebody keeps trying to message this person online. It's just like, no, buddy. Yeah, Will of Fortune reverse. Yeah, because their life has changed for the worse. It's all kind of drama and upheaval going on. Bad luck, karma. They keep having to learn the same lessons over and over and over. And they're not getting it. Yeah, Emperor. Plus, you have somebody already. Divine Masculine is here. You you have a man. Whoever this Queen of Wands is does. Or this, this could be your dad. You got somebody around. You have a divine masculine around you that don't play about you. Especially if this is your dad, if it's your father, Virgo, like he don't play about you. Especially if this loser that put you in some type of domestic violence situation or, you know, cause you any type of bodily harm, your dad don't play about you. Okay? Your father. This would be your father or your man, your husband or somebody. Like somebody out here definitely don't play about you. The emperor, like, okay. The Empress who a Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands? Absolutely the fuck not. Okay? You did not play with this man. Do you hear me? <laughs> Clarify this devil magician energy. Or shit, I don't the Emperor could be anybody. Could be a friend or something. Yeah, it's just like they're going up, they're going through a breakup with this bitch that they're with. It's like they know they incompatible with this bitch. Two of Cups reverse this bitch that they're playing games with at home with this fake influencer that's very bitter. She's a blood sucker with this Queen of Swords reverse. Very much a liar. My girl. Let's see. Yeah, it's in the cups. Yeah, some of you could be married. Or this is in your future. But once you heal from this idiot. Yeah, the emperor with the ten of cups. You're going to have your happily ever after. Period. Or you already have it. Some of you moved on. You're married. Told you a major milestone. Four of wands, ten of, ten of cups, and the emperor. Some of you marrying somebody else. A divine masculine.
Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's a Virgo man out here who's a fucking loser. Okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. For some of you Virgos, if you're single, this is multiple people from your past coming out of the woodwork. It's a King of Pentacles here, not a Swords, not a Wands. It's like, it's like these motherfuckers are all rushing towards you. Yeah, but it's for financial reasons or these niggas got abandonment issues, but you're not interested. Eight of Wands here, it's like stand your ground. So, yeah, I feel like you're definitely, Virgo, you're definitely being tested out here, right? Because if you were the one in this horrible ass relationship with all this domestic violence and shit i feel like you made it out of that you're finally recovering and shit but it's just like okay god is still gonna test you though it's like before i bring you your husband before i bring you this this um emperor ten of cups i need to know that you're strong by yourself i need to know that you won't let somebody like this do you this way again before i bring you this emperor you know what I'm saying? Because, of course, the emperor is going to protect you. But you have to be able to protect your own feelings, your own emotions and shit. And I don't mean, like, in a physical way. I mean, like, in a spiritual way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to make sure that you're not going to allow these type of people in your life anymore before I bring you this emperor. Like, real shit. Because he's in your energy. A divine masculine is in your energy. But I, you got to pay attention and use your discernment because it's a knight of swords and a knight of wands out here. It's people losers from your past who's are who's trying to reach out or resurface and shit don't let these people distract you like real shit that's the ace of wands here that's if you want a husband you know what i'm saying yeah six of swords here yeah because you moved on it's like you're healing peaceful calmer waters like you and your kid if you have one this is like yeah like, don't lower your standards. Don't let these people trick you. Not a swords, not a wands here. Like, fuck no. For this one in particular that really did you dirty, that taught you a really... Because the Ten of Swords is learning shit the hard way. You learned a really hard lesson fucking with a page of pentacles in the reverse. And I feel like you're attractive. I feel like you look good. I feel like it is people attracted to you, but it's only one divine masculine out here. So you need to pay attention. Yeah, the fool in the reverse. Yeah, somebody who is just foolish. They're stupid, man. Yeah, the hermit reverse. Ooh, we. Somebody out here is. There is definitely a distorted Virgo man out here with the hermit reverse and the king of pentacles in the reverse. Ugh. I feel like this person is trying to hold on to the energy of a divine feminine. As I said, some of you could be married because the empress is in the upright. Well, you can, probably can't see that. But yeah, the empress is in the upright. So there's an empress and an empress on here. So some of you could have met your divine masculine already. And you still got these other people like coming towards you. They feel stupid. They're all washed up and shit. You've moved on. Yeah, this shit didn't backfire on these people. These people with no boundaries. They're weak. Having changed, death in the reverse. Some of you could be a Scorpio. Yeah, it's like people ain't checking for this person no more. They don't want this person. Ace of Wands reversing that hermit. It's like people not fucking with this person. They're just like, nah, bro. You can go on with that shit. I don't want your offer. I don't want your apology. I'm cool. Yes, yeah, so I don't know who these people are that are trying to come towards you and you're like a married woman now or you're in some type of committed relationship where you and your person live together with the four of wands here. You could even be pregnant. You could be getting ready to have a baby with your man with the Empress to the Empress and the Ten of Cups here and the Four of Wands. Or you could be getting ready to get married. Like your wedding is soon or you're planning your wedding. And it's like these people from your past are trying to show back up, block you, distort some shit. But you have zero interest in these motherfuckers with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Zero. You don't find them remotely attractive at all. But anyways, Virgo, this has been your reading. Let me know if it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at you later. Peace.